I'm going to right click on that little dot there and select that one piece right there. And just below it, I'm going to shift click and right click and select that piece there. And then I can just rotate around this way a little bit. I don't really need this tool anymore. I'm not going to be using it anymore. So see this little, uh, um, translate. That's my translation tool. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is I've selected these two pieces right here. I'm going to hit E to do what? Do you remember what E does? Extrude. So I hit E to extrude the region. And I'm just going to pull that out as a, wing, a little wing right there. Going to rotate to the other side. Going to select the other side. I'm going to E once again, hit the region, and I'm going to E and extrude that as well. So now he's kind of got some wings going out there. Now what I want you to do, Lois, is I want you to just watch me go through this because we're going to start on the house next. And it's actually going to be easier than this, believe it or not. I, I promise you. So it would be nice to see that it would be easier. But I want you to see how these things are manipulated. Now I want to pull the wing down. So I'm going to rotate around here. And I'm actually going to just grab this piece right here, right click on it, hit an extrusion, and pull the wing down. And once again, rotate around to the other side. And that went a little too far, so I can uh, just grab this arrow here and translate it back where it's supposed to go. So you don't have to a always extrude to move something. You can just use translation tools. What extrusion does, it adds a new sh cell to it. Mm -hmm. Translation doesn't add a new cell to it. It makes, just makes it longer and shorter. Got to find that other piece of a wing. There it is right there. Right click on that. Hit E to extrude to add the new sh shell. Extrude it. And just click to make that done. And now I can just basically use this translation tool to line the two up. So that's part of the wing. Going to come along here, and I'm going to merge some vertices so that so the wings kind of come together. So I want to make sure I'm in vertex selection mode right here. I uh, let me move this so I can see it. Move in, roll, roll that mouse in. Going to right click on that vertice. Going to shift and right click on the other one. So t tomorrow when you're selecting more than one vertice, that's one way to do it. Then I'm going to hit the W key. Remember that I must choose merge and get rid of one of the vertices. I'm going to collapse it to the center. And see, it just kind of gave me a little thing. Going to do that at the bottom well. Right click and select that. Right click and select the other vertice. W and go to merge. So tomorrow, this is, Blender's a great piece of software, but you know you have to learn all these different keystrokes and how to put all this stuff together. So it's just, it's a learning curve I think is, is higher. I'm going to right click here on this one. Going to right shift cl and click on this one. Going to hit the W key and going to hit the merge key and bring that together. Okay, on the next one, you're going to right click and you're going to shift right click and you're going to hit the W key and you're going to merge that together. And there you go. Your penguin's wings are done. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flatten out the bottom. See, I, I, my penguin, it, it looks like a rolling pin right now or something. Or, or actually, it looks more like a hummingbird, doesn't it? Yeah, so I, I actually need to do some work on my penguin, but uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have entitled this hummingbird instead and we'd all feel a lot more comfortable right now so <laughs> so I'm gonna come along here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten this out and once again a few more commands we didn't cover last time we covered, covered tons of commands last time once again that B command which is so important and we're just gonna highlight some of these uh, vertices and I'm just gonna hit the delete key and get rid of them and when you do that uh, and see notice I didn't get delete why didn't I get rid of that let me control Z that is because I had this turn right there, and it did what it was supposed to do, and that was good. So let me get off of that, and let me hit B then again and select and show you, yes, it, indeed, it, get, it will do what it's supposed to do when I hit the delete key. It did get rid of all of them, so that's good. And if you turn around, you see that's hollow, right? And I want to fill that in. So one way to do that, here's a new key command, believe it or not. Hit B to select those vertices, and it is Shift F. So when I hit Shift F, it's going to fill that hole in for you right there. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, now, there's a lot of stuff I could do. And the tutorial actually uh, on uh, Wikipedia is much better than what I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to pull out some feet real quick, and we're going to go for another thing, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, bring this down a little bit, shift, and bring down. Uh, I am now cheating. I'm not following the tutorial. I'm just trying to get done fast so we can move on. There's not really a whole lot more I can teach you here. Those were the commands. So A, to get off of that, I'm just going to move this around a little bit. I'm going to choose one side to be one foot. Let's get on uh, triangle selection or face one side and one foot, 
Uh, another side to be another foot. This is a little bit cheesy, so if you watch the tutorial, you're going to go, man, that was cheesy. Now, I'm selecting the back. I want to select the front. That's going to make sure we've got this clicked right here, this box. So I'm going to use front selection. So right click one and shift, right click the other. That helped me a little bit. Hit E to extrude, so I can extrude both at the same time. There's his feet. <laughs> And I could do a lot better than that. Now, one more thing we're going to do is last time, remember how we smoothed in our ship? We're going to smooth our penguin right here. So it's moving back a little bit. And come on down here and let me get this screen up a little bit so I can see the command. And just start hitting. And let me actually bring it down so I can see it was what I want to do. There's a smooth command right there. So I'm just going to start smoothing out my penguin. Well, I want to select everything. So just start smoothing that guy out. There you go. Now he's looking more like a, now he's looking more like a penguin. Yeah, and so let's get off of that and uh, get out of edit mode. And there's a penguin. Da 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 da. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I could have done a lot more work on that. You you, you just spend your lifetime working on stuff like this, and uh, that's just a demo of how to build a penguin. Now, let's. Uh, Rebecca's not going to be able to do do the the tutorial on the database, so she's at, is working on that tomorrow. And uh, something happened with our computer upstairs, so we'll worry about that uh, next week. And we should have all that done for you. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how to build a house. Okay.